Welcome back everyone. I've been having a lot of fun lately applying different effects to fonts. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to give you three for the price of one. What a bargain. Each technique is a little different, so please watch till the end if you have the time. Let's start with this pretty little sunset scene. I'm going to select my artistic text tool and type a capital S. Then, I'll hold the command or control button while clicking and dragging the S to the right to create a copy. I'll do this six times. Now, I'm going to double click on each letter and change them so they spell sunset. Next, I'll space them out a bit so they aren't on top of one another. All right, now I'm going to select the first S and make it taller by grabbing the center node and dragging up. I'll do the same with the T. I'll convert this first S to a curve by going to the Layer tab in the menu and scrolling down to Convert to Curves. The letter now has nodes on it, and my tool is set to the Node tool. This allows me to manipulate the letters however I want. I'm going to just drag a little box over these two nodes. I'll extend them both to the right by holding the Shift key while clicking and dragging one of the nodes. Now, I'll select the first and last text layers while holding Shift. This will select all the letters. I'll right-click and select Group. Then, I'll hide the sunset photo for a second by clicking the little dot to the right of its layer. With the group selected, I'll right-click again and select Merge Visible. This will give me one pixel layer that is easy to work with. I can delete the group now to get it out of the way. Then, I'll turn the sunset back on and drag the sunset layer onto the text layer to embed it. Finally, I'm going to go to grab the Rectangular Shape tool from the left toolbar and drag a rectangle across my screen. Oops, let's move that out of the embedded word layer and place it below. Now, let's turn the rectangle black so we can see our text design a bit better. I think that looks great. Okay, for our second text effect, we'll be using the Displace tool to make the word waves a bit wavier in the wave, if that makes sense. I'll start by duplicating the background layer. Next, I'll go to my Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Gaussian Blur. I'll apply about 20 pixels of blur. This layer is temporary, but the blur gives the Displace tool something to grab onto. We're going to use the Artistic Text tool to write the word waves in white in a new text layer at the top. All right, with the text layer selected, I'm going to select layer from the menu, then new live filter layer, then distort, and then displace. Then click load map from layers beneath. And then I'll adjust the slider either positive or negative to where it looks good to me. Okay, that looks good. I'll close out of this. Then I'll turn off the blurry waves layer by clicking the dot to the right of the layer. Next, I'll select the text layer and then lower the opacity a bit so the waves show through the text. And finally, I'll go to the FX button at the bottom of my Layers tab and select the Outer Shadow option. You can adjust the radius and offset. Or you can click the Offset tool at the bottom here and just manually drag your shadow where you want it. Now, you can move the word wave wherever you want it and the displacement effect will still work. I think this is pretty cool. For my third and final text effect, I'll start with this piece of broken glass. I'll type the word broken and position it where I want it. Then, I'll drag the glass layer on top of the text layer to embed the image into the text. I'll then go to the FX button at the bottom of the layers panel and select 3D to give it a little depth. Now, I'm going to go to my Rectangular Shape tool and draw a rectangle over my screen. Oops, didn't mean for the rectangle to be in the text layer. I'll just click and hold to drag it to the bottom. Now, 
I'll select the rectangle and color it black so we can see our image better. Okay, now I'll select the text layer, then right click and scroll down to rasterize. Go ahead and click OK to the pop-up. Finally, I can go to my freehand selection tool, which looks like a little lasso on the left-hand toolbar. Then I can draw around some of the broken glass text areas to select a shard. I'll go to Edit Cut and then Edit Paste to paste the shard into a new layer. I'll click Command or Control D to deselect. Then I'll click on the Select tool to select that layer and move it around a bit. I'll speed this up as I do this a few more times. Well, that's it for today. If you found value in this tutorial and want to buy me a cup of coffee, I would greatly appreciate it. There's a link in the description. Otherwise, if you could just hit those like and subscribe buttons, I'll be just as happy. Have a great day, everyone.